Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video. Now this one is going to be a long one so if you haven't got a drink or a snack I would go grab one before we get started because it is going to be quite a long one but I'm going to do a tour of my house in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now I've had my house decorated kind of most of it for a while but I did recently redo the whole bottom floor and my storage rooms and a bunch of other rooms so I thought I would show you guys where I'm up to now. Now I have all 20 floors unlocked with all the rooms unlocked however I have not yet used all 20 rooms purely because I have decided with my house I wanted to make the bottom floor and the second floor kind of be like my rooms for decorating like my own house and having storage and all that stuff but then all the other floors I have dedicated a room to every different Disney movie or Disney character so I've used the items we get with those movies to create their own particular room with all the furniture we have. Now, I have a lot of rooms in my house that have got an item from a particular film in them, but I have like one or two items from that movie, so I can't really decorate the room yet. So I did skip over those because there's no point in me showing you a room with one piece of furniture in it or one painting or something. But that is eventually going to be how the rooms are set up. I want to have a room for every movie in there. So I'm going to show you the ones that are completed in my house tour today. So let's get started. So when you first come to my house, I do have the flowery summer cottage just because it's so sweet and I love using it. And then in my first room, which I recently redid, I've gone for a really cozy cottage core feel in here. If you know me, this is kind of the vibe I tend to go for in a lot of my builds. I wanted it to feel really warm, really cozy in here. I love the little living room area set up. I've got the piano in the corner, lots of bookshelves. I put the cherry blossom trees in here too just because I love seeing the petals when I walk in I just think these trees are gorgeous and a little desk in the corner but I wanted the fill in here to be very dark wood but also feel like a realistic living room in a home and then I've decorated all three rooms to the side so the first room to the left which we will head in first is my kitchen dining space now in here I again obviously kept the theme with the same floor same wallpaper and the same windows and I've again gone for this very kind of dark wood cottage core feel if you know me or my other builds I absolutely love this frozen set from the premium shop with the counters and the oven and everything if that ever comes back and you don't have it highly highly recommend it is amazing I use it all the time but I've created a little kitchen counter area with lots of food on there lots of different items I have a little section in the corner with the glass cabinet and just some paintings a tea trolley and then this back wall I covered completely with frozen bookshelves and created this really grand dining table with a little furnace next to it just to give it the, the room a really warm and cozy feel and the table being full just really satisfied me because it feels like it's a very grand space as we head out of there and into the back room, this is my bedroom. Now, it originally was my storage room, but I've changed it all around, and this is now my bedroom. Now, it's very simple in here, nothing too crazy, but I wanted it to just feel like a very natural space and kind of similar to something I'd have in real life. There are elements of it that I would definitely never have because we don't have the things in game to work, but I wanted to include a little desk over there with some figurines on like my one in real life and where I can do all my content. And then I have a little art, se art section in the back because if you know me, I love art and drawing and I'm really into that. So I wanted that section there and then lots of bookshelves by the bed. And then I used a bunch of different hanging kind of foliage that we have. I hope we get more at some point because I'd love some hanging plants in here as well to really fit the vibe. And as we head out of there, we head into the right room. Now, this one I originally was gonna make a bathroom, but I actually came up with a different idea. And I made this adorably cute and tiny laundry room. Now, this had to be this size for it to make sense, but I actually love how this room came out. I think it's so sweet. And sometimes I just like to come in here and just look at it because it's just so cute when the room is this small and I rarely use rooms of this size. I usually have bigger rooms to fit everything in, but this one just worked perfectly with this size. So I used the washing machine and the dryer from Lilo and Stitch, some of the new Monsters Inc. socks and just a lot of other decor to fit. Before we head on to floor two, now this is how my floors are laid out with an open space in the entranceway. And on the left, we have my dressing room. Now in here, I've gone for a very kind of plain blue and white theme i want it to feel very kind of royal in here and i really love how it turned out and i've got a few mannequins dotted around with the outfits i use most sometimes if i pick a dream snap outfit in advance i will put it on a mannequin in here just so i know i have it ready for when i want it but in here we've just got a dressing table a sewing table lots of different furniture pieces mainly from cinderella that fit the kind of dressing room theme As we head out of there, as you can see, I use the royal pillars in each corner to kind of divide this main room up. And then we head into the back room where we have 
my base game storage room now i did originally have my storage all in one room for both eternity Isle and the base game and it got way too busy in there and way too cluttered so i've now changed it so this is my base game storage room gone for a very similar theme to the rest of the house kind of just fitting that brown wood theme i use the counters from the frozen bundle to display all the different items and it actually looks really quite cute and simplistic in here and i've got all my chests lined up with all my base game resources i really like how this looks it's very simple but it fits the kind of cozy cottage vibe of the rest of the house and then my eternity isle storage room which we are going to head to now on the right is as you can see a lot more futuristic and fits the eternity isle theme now i love how this storage room came out i think it fits so well it's so bright and vibrant the windows just kind of tied the whole room together i've got my time bending table in here and then around the room i've just got a bunch of tables that have got lots of things displayed on them and then obviously the large storage chest at the front to put everything in i now have lots of space for everything that's going to be coming in the dlc as well as the original resources and it means i can really stock up now on what i'm using but i really love that room and then we head on to the third floor now as you can see these rooms have a bit more of a decoration outside they've all got their own outfit and the one on the left is my frozen room now this is mainly like anna's frozen room i have two frozen rooms and you'll see the other one later but this one is very busy it took me a long time to get a layout for this room that actually worked and didn't just look like a junkyard because we have so many frozen items that it was so difficult to fit the majority of them in here so i did my best to try and figure out a layout that actually worked and looked like someone could actually live here it is a very small quaint space but I managed to fit in everything, but I think it does look really, really sweet in here. I've kind of got all the different elements of the furniture, like the bath area and the cooking area. As we head out there, we have our room on the back, which as you can see, is very much a Lion King room. I absolutely love this room. I think it fits Lion King so well. We have some really nice Lion King objects and I really wanted to make them pop in here. So I've got the really beautiful stained glass window behind the bed. We've got lots of hanging vines on the ceiling. The wallpaper in here just works perfectly for Lion King. And I've just got some different sections with some foliage. I've got the really beautiful divider and lots of counters where I've used the scramble coin statues to display i tend to do this a lot in my rooms as you'll see as we go around i use the scramble coin statues in the relevant rooms just to be another decor item in there as we head on to the final room on this floor the far right room as you can see this is mickey's room it is kind of a mickey and friends room really but in here i wanted to include as much of the mickey furniture and everything that we have i wanted this one again to kind of have different sections to the rooms we've got like a bedroom area we've got a living room area and we've got a kitchen because there is so much mickey and friends furniture but i really love how it looks in here i think it has a really cute cartoon look to it i think it looks functional for actual characters to be in and we have some really cute items that came with mickey and friends so if we get any more in the future i do hope to add to this this is the fourth floor so as we go in you can see we've again got the three themed rooms and the one on the left as you can see is beauty and the beast i love this room it's one of my favorite rooms in my house i think it looks so royal but also so cozy at the same time so i've kind of just displayed the bookshelves on the back wall behind the bed frame i've got a little seating area with a fireplace the fireplace is a cinderella fireplace however this room needed a fireplace and we don't have a beauty and the beast one so this one just worked perfectly and then we have the little bathtub area with the really beautiful dividers and another outfit in here for me to come in and wear i kind of wanted to include mannequins in inside the rooms and outside the rooms just to display the outfits that come up with the particular films they're tied to. Now in the back room, as you can see, it is the Wreck-It Ralph room. I really struggled with this one because we have so much Wreck-It Ralph furniture, it's kind of crazy. And I had to figure out a way to do this without it looking cluttered. And sometimes I do come in here and I'm like, oh, it really does look cluttered. But we have so much furniture, I had to try to figure out a way that it worked. So we've got a little desk area, we've got the really cute bar area and I just put a mannequin behind that to look like someone's at the bar, it just gave it a bit of an extra touch. And then we've got a little seating area in the corner which does need some stuff to go on the tables so at some point I will decorate those tables a little bit more. And then we have the gaming section in the back corner next to the bed. It is very cluttered in here but because we have so much furniture I did my best for it to be kind of functional for that room. Now the final room on this floor as you can see is Toy Story which has the really cute mannequin outside and some of the pillars. I really like this room. Again Toy Story has a lot of furniture so I did struggle fitting everything in. There were some items that came with Toy Story that I had to sacrifice because they genuinely would not fit in this room. 
but I did include the majority so we've got obviously the Scrooge items we've got some quest items and we've got the Wanderer bundle bed that we got in the premium shop and just lots of other items the kind of living area items the couches and the tv are from the deluxe edition so you can't get those anymore so if you're looking at them and wondering where they came from they are from the deluxe edition but then we head on to our fifth floor which as you can see is fully decorated and the one on the left is a very royal room and this is cinderella's room now in here we do have a lot of base game items but we also do have some items that were from the ultimate edition so the windows and the clock and a few other items in here were from the ultimate edition so if you recognize you don't recognize them or you're confused where they're from they are from an edition of the game that you cannot get anymore so i do apologize for that but i wanted to kind of display them in here anyway when i got them but the rest are from scrooges and things like that in here, I wanted it to have a really nice kind of royal vibe, the pops of blues, as well as the golds in here as we have a lot of Cinderella furniture, so I had to do my best to display it. As we head out of here and we head to the back room, we can clearly see this is a Monsters Inc. room. Now, this had to be recently redone because obviously in the last update, we got a lot more Monsters Inc. items. So in here, again, it is very busy, but I've done my best to kind of sort it into sections. So I've got a section with the bed and then a kind of bathroom section where we've got the bathtub and the sink and the toilet. So I wanted to kind of have its own bathroom section. I've got then got a desk area and a kind of living space. And I've done my best in here to kind of fit in everything that we had before and also all the new furniture without it being too cluttered but it is quite difficult to do for this particular film because we recently got so much stuff to do with this film so i have put the majority in here but not all as we head out there we head on to the final room on this floor which as we can see is an under the sea themed room and this is my little mermaid room as you can head in it's just a pop of blue it really does feel like you're under the sea i love the porthole windows i think they work really well in here and this room has got a lot of matching furniture we've got a little seating area with the aquarium and then we've got a little uh, bathroom area where we've got the sink and the whirlpool tub and the toilet they all just kind of go together really well i hope one day they kind of line them up so it looks more neat it just bothers me but then we've got a little dressing table area with another mannequin with an outfit on and a really cute picture of ariel and eric above the bed now on the next floor these are all fully decorated we on the left have my personal favorite character room i'm not biased but i love tangled and this is my rapunzel room now this room i adore i love it in here we've got it's got such a warm feel in here it feels like a realistic room and it's just so cozy and i love the fireplace with the couches it really just makes everything tie together really well i did struggle to fit the kind of pillow blanket item in here because it is so big but I did my best to fit it in a corner without it looking too odd. I used the painted windows and obviously a lot of the painting furniture in the corner and then a really cute memory I had of Rapunzel above the bed. I've included her level 10 dress in here and then her standard dress we had before on the outside so I can access both. And then in the middle room, we have our Stitch themed room. Now Stitch doesn't have much in terms of actual fu functioning furniture like he doesn't have a bed that comes with Lilo and Stitch it's all very random so in here it is a very random mess but I feel like that fits Stitch so we've got the city kind of sculpture I guess you'd call it we've got the photo booth where I feel like he would hang out and take pictures next to his spaceship then we have a little kind of cozy living area with a tv and a couch and some surfboards and then I've used the hammock in the back corner to kind of mimic this would be where he sleeps and then obviously the washer dryer kind of area at the back now this one is very random but the items that come with Lilo and Stitch are very random so then we're gonna head on to the last room on this floor which I love and now at the moment I've redone it and this is my Encanto room I think this room used to look so bare because we have such a limited amount of Encanto furniture. I think there was only like a handful. So I recently revamped this and add some other f added some other furniture that I knew would work in here. I added some big windows. I added some pillars just to give the room a bit of structure and make it feel like an actual bedroom. So I feel like it just looks 10 times better now and I actually really like the vibe in here. It just works well. On the next floor we have another three decorated rooms on the left as you can see this is a kind of beach themed room so this is moana's room again moana was difficult because we don't have any kind of bed or anything that really fit for a bedroom 
So I used some of these sun lounges to kind of mimic a bed space with some little bedside tables. I included the rustic mats where people would come in and do yoga and then lots of sea foliage to make it seem as though Moana has gone out and collected all of this and then brought it back to our home. We've got a little kind of dressing area with the sink and a mannequin and then just a little chair for people to sit on. It is again a very eclectic room but with Moana we have a lot of outdoor furniture and not a lot of indoor furniture so I did my best to make it look realistic. As we head to the middle door, you can see this is Wooly's room. Now I did Wooly and Eve separate because it's a very different vibe. So this is Wooly's more rustic, natural room. I really love how it looks in here. The vines on the ceiling work perfectly for him. I went with the rusted wall and floor and put the statues of Wooly and Eve on his desk above a painting. And then lots of the items that come with Wooly around. I also added a lot of foliage and a lot of other items that were very floral and just fit the theme of Wooly because there isn't many items for him in general. And then we have a little clothing area with a mannequin and the little clothes rail and the pallet bed, which I absolutely love. And as we head on to the right, we have Wooly's other counterpart, which is Eve's room. This is kind of the other part of the Wooly items. And this is Eve's more space style room. So I've used some of the new planters we got with her friendship quest, a statue of each of them on the bedside table, and then just this little dining table area with a picture of Eve above it. We've got the space windows that actually came with Toy Story and they just work perfectly because they're just this beautiful blue night sky. And then we have a little living seating area with Eve's new coffee table. It's very simple in here, but there wasn't really much to use and I wanted it to feel very open. As we head up to the next floor, we have three more fully decorated rooms. So as you can see, the one on the left is my other frozen room, and this is Elsa's kind of ice room. Now in here, I obviously wanted to use a lot more of the ice furniture, so we have the bed frame, we have the snowflake rug we got in last winter's star path, we have Olaf's really cute little snowflake cloud, and a dining table and a little kind of like living room seating area, all made of the ice furniture. I hope we do get more furniture like this in the future so I can kind of expand this a bit more, but I feel like it is a really cute vibe in here. The floor from the star path worked really really well and then some of the frozen windows with the little snowflakes on just kind of tie it all together now the next room we head into is actually my other little mermaid theme room and as you can see rather than this being aerial theme this is more of an ursula themed room now in here i did use some of the thorny furniture so like the windows and the pillars were from that thorny set we got just from like playing the game but I also added in a lot of other dark purple furniture, some kind of rustic ones. I've got Ursula's vanity as well as her mirror and her throne. And I included two mannequins with one of each of the outfits we got in the Ursula Vanessa bundle. As these just look really cute displayed here in this room. It just works really, really well for Ursula's character. The final room on this floor as we head to the right is our sword in the stone themed room now a lot of the items we have from sword in the stone aren't really kind of like bedroom furniture in the sense there's no bed nothing like that so i made this kind of like a study space so i included one of the old fireplaces we got from our main house when we first started the game lots and lots of bookshelves and books and a whole potion station section with a desk with lots of scrolls and things like that about to make it look like a really kind of cozy laboratory or potion space the next floor up we have on the left our haunted mansion room now i've just put a mannequin outside with kind of like a kind of haunted mansion themed person but inside here i've used the paintings that we got in our previous halloween star path again lots of bookshelves which aren't haunted mansion actually tagged but they just worked really well in here to create another kind of spooky potion space i use the haunted mansion piano which obviously works great in here and it has all the skulls coming off i absolutely love this item and i used a fireplace to kind of create this kind of seating area and a cauldron in the middle for someone to do all their potions and all of their witchcraft As we head out of there and into the next room, this one hasn't got too much decoration outside because I need some more items for it. But this is my Eric themed room or kind of like my kind of, yeah, it's Eric themed more than pirate themed, I would say. And this is just a little cozy space with a desk and some bookshelves where everything is pirate themed. Now, a lot of the stuff in here is craftable. So the couch, the coffee table, the map on the wall, the bookshelf that you see in this corner here are all craftable. And some of the other furniture is as well, but a lot as well is 
some that you just get from Scrooges. They're pretty easy to get hold of. The windows are also craftable, not the square Moana ones, the kind of rounded ones are craftable. They do take a lot of resources, but they look really, really cute in here and just creates a really nice space. Now the final room on this floor is a second tangled room however this one is more of a tavern theme now with tangled we get a lot of rapunzel items but we also got these really cute tavern themed ones so we've got like the helmet lamps and the tavern bed and the tavern windows so i wanted a place to be able to display everything that didn't fit in my rapunzel room so this is more of a tavern themed tangled bedroom i guess you could probably say maybe it's like flynn's room or themed around flynn but i did want another room just to display everything that was more tangled themed so i included a piano in here and as we head to the next floor you can see two of the rooms are not decorated so i will not show you those but this room is and this is my ratatouille room now again with ratatouille it's hard to decorate as a bedroom because there isn't any beds or anything like that so what i've done is i've made this like a makeshift restaurant so i've kind of put the tables out with some decorations on and a few different chairs but i wanted it to seem like in here remy kind of has his plans where he's gonna think about how he's gonna set up his restaurant and then he's gone and achieved it and this is kind of like all his practice if that makes sense like he pretends to serve people dishes and he whips up things in the kitchen that when he's figuring out new meals and that's kind of the vibe i wanted to go for in here so i want it to be kind of a cooking space now on this floor as you can see i have a tiana and a snow white poster over two rooms so that will be rooms for their items however this one on the left is decorated which is my nightmare before christmas room now we have so much nightmare before christmas stuff now both from star paths jack coming and also in the monsters update we got these really cool bookshelves so i wanted to display them in here now i did use a lot of mannequins in here to make jack sally and oogie boogie i just thought they looked really cute in here and i had some on the outside and i felt like on the inside it made sense to have them in here and it just brought a lot more character in the room because we do have some furniture for night before christmas but nothing major so i wanted to break it up and that is all the completed rooms for now now as i did say at the start there are a lot of rooms in my house that have like one or two furniture items in so i didn't really see the point in like showing them to you guys because i would walk in a room and there would be like one painting on the wall or one vase on the floor and it wouldn't really work however they are ones that I'm hoping we do get more furniture for soon. So if there is a movie that you particularly wanted to see, I probably don't have the furniture for them yet. So that is why they are not decorated. But hopefully in the future we will get more stuff so I can finish off these rooms and add more movies in. I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour and you liked what you saw. As I said, it is all a work in progress. This is just where it is up to as of now. And I'm very happy with my main floor and my storage rooms and all of the decorated rooms. And I can't wait to add more furniture in as we get more characters and more stuff paths make sure you like and subscribe thank you so much for all the support on the channel as always and i hope to see you in the next one bye